holding hand by hand with Jimmy Driving around London in his blue mini Every day is abundant, every day is easy Hey, I love you Hello everyone, welcome to the Wendy's family Today we're doing a quick vlog, I'm here with Jamai we're just going to make some shopping. I'm buying everything for my hospital bag today. It's getting time because look, this belly don't stop to grow. And I have like eight more weeks more to go. And um, yeah, we need to get everything ready. And we're going to Westfields now to buy everything. And um, yeah, later we're just gonna go out and see what's good around London. So see you soon. Yes, I feel very nice, baby. I feel absolutely great. Hi, guys. Good evening. How are you doing? Hope you are all well. Um, I'm Wengila. For you that you have been following me in the pregnancy updates, this is another pregnancy update. The, in this case, we are going to do the 31st and 32nd week because I'm 32 weeks pregnant now and last week I haven't um, posted an update neither so we kind of gonna summarize these two weeks what is be happening how I'll be feeling and of course we're going to measure the belly at the end the belly is really huge like it's um, getting on the way of everything and I have a bit of funny stories to tell about that as well but yeah just welcome here and um, welcome to this theme if you are a mom already thank you for coming in and please feel free to comment down below anything you feel like you want to share any experience and if you are a new mom like me th uh, welcome congratulations on your pregnancy and i've just been sharing with you what i've been learning on the way and also we are going to do just a little you know clothing haul or kind of like hospital bag haul as well because one of the things that happened in these two weeks is like i bought the hospital bag is right here let me show you i bought in one store that is called mamas and papas which means mummies and daddies and it's good because you know it's got so many spaces where you can put different things and it also comes with the thing for the you know for the baby so many things um a little you know this that you can put your hospital things as well and as well a changing something for changing the baby so all of that came with the bag and the bag was 50% off so it was supposed to be a hundred something and I got it for only 89 pounds so yeah really good deal it was supposed to be 149 and I got it for 89 so very good and I'm just gonna show you everything that I bought to go inside the bag okay this is going to be fun um, today I went to Boots again, <laughs> like looks like that's the only store I go lately, but yeah, um, I, we got a few things for the baby, I got this, we, because obviously 32 weeks now, I'm about 6 to 8 weeks uh, away from having the baby already and I only have one appointment left with the doctor, so I kind of like have to call and book an appointment with the GP which I haven't done yet and this is another thing that I have to do this week yes I also booked my prenatal classes which are all going to be the next month they have like four classes that I, can, I could book for free so I don't know exactly what we're gonna do be doing there but I guess it's like some breathing exercises postures and things that I have to do on on the way of like you know just having the baby and all of that these past two weeks i've been feeling really tired like i finished my uni work and i i feel like i was so stressed with this work like i put so much energy into it and i was just doing that all day like uni work and sleeping i couldn't have 
too much space and time for you guys for the YouTube because I just feel like I had to prioritize and uh, the uni work was taking so much of my energy and then I was feeling really naked and tired so I've been sleeping a lot I haven't got as much exercise as I would like to done because I haven't been going for walks every day as I used to and I just you know was doing not much and these past three days I've been exercising at home and just getting myself together my plans my goals where I want to go with with you with the YouTube where I want to go in general and I also started uh, getting my maternity leave this week so I wouldn't I didn't have to go back to work even though now this week everything is open in England since yesterday <laughs> so kind of like I'm lucky in that sense I haven't gone back to work so I just been finishing my uni work and chilling I felt way more self-aware this week uh, more connected with the source in general I'm more connected with my ancestors let's say because obviously I'm in this point where the baby is almost here and I'm just thinking about oh you know my mom my grandma and all the people that came before me that make able me to be here now having this baby and it's kind of like magic so yeah I've just been very connected with that as well and I've been more respectful with all the women in general like just you know sometimes we don't realize all the work that we have to do to be able to bring another life to this earth and I just feel like yeah I make me more connected so one thing that happened last week is like on Saturday I met a cousin of my boyfriend and his uh, pregnant girlfriend as well she's about to have the baby now at some point and we had a little day out and we went shopping and I bought some things for the baby that I'll be showing you as well we just had some lunch and it was really good and something happened that absolutely broke my schemes at night uh, basically it was really late at night basically I was scam I will do a video to just address and tell you the story time of this separately because I feel like I want to do like a separate video because it has nothing to do with this content but it has to do with like it literally fucked up all my week because I've been feeling really down since that happens and it was a, a lot of money it was uh, crypto money exactly dogecoin I basically was a scam and I sent some dogecoin to a wallet that I wasn't supposed to send basically I was robbed and now I kind of like have to deal with it and it was a lot of money it was basically like the most of my investments and I I only keep my profit so now I'm kind of like have to start from zero on the or the crypto thing and I'm very like it was tough <laughs> I'm not gonna lie I felt so stupid for having done that and I felt like yeah just all my efforts and work that I have done during the past few months so hard and also most of my um, uni loan everything like was into there and I was basically everything was gone in one second like it was exactly like 10,000 dollars going uh, which is about 5,000 pounds and I is like obviously no one wants to throw money away and I feel like I literally throw it away and now it's like uh, it made me so worry um, regard regarding everything I still need to buy for the baby and all of these kind of things that well, we're we looking at and yeah so but rather than that i felt really angry really stupid and really angry at the beginning and lately i just been trying to forgive and forget so i can kind of cure myself and feel better and move on from this because it's something that i can come back i just can learn from the mistake and it was a huge mistake there's nothing else i can do so I forgive and forget these people obviously they don't know who I were they don't know what they didn't know what they what they they knew what they was doing but I was the one who believed them so in that case cool but uh, rather than that like I've been feeling um, way more tired sleeping so much and the belly is just getting so big I 
been bumping into things bumping into doors bumping into boxes tables like everything that is in the middle because i'm not used to have so much space like right in front of my belly so it's like whew, it's so much literally i will just show you quickly guys like as you can see it's like all my body grew especially my boobs and my belly of course but also my thighs so it's kind of like it's getting heavy so i also have the maternity belt that i'm using sometimes not all the time but about i don't know at least two hours a day just to release and take away the weight of the baby and all of that so the been feeling the belly way more huge and bigger and trying to keep up with just normal things like just housing cleaning cooking all of these like my partner's been cooking a lot which is very good as well and just, just feel like i've been helped a lot as well all my family in brazil are asking me all the time how i'm doing how i'm feeling and they all excited waiting and expecting the baby everyone and everyone is also saying that the belly is so huge and that she probably is going to come early so i just had to start getting prepared and this is why i went today and i bought a few stuff for the hospital bag so let me just show you um we're gonna start packing my bag you're going to start doing it with me and i'm gonna show you some of the things that i bought obviously i bought nappies for the baby these ones for new newborns and I'm just gonna bring this to the hospital because she's gonna need it so that's the first thing that I'm gonna put also they did told me I will need one of these just in case I don't produce um, milk on the first day because sometimes they say you don't and yeah just wanna have one you know this is the only one I have for now even though I will buy more you know just something to take the milk and all of this i bought this which is disposables for when you know the postpartum because i know i'm gonna be bleeding a lot and everybody have told me this and i kind of like was like i didn't even thought about it to be honest and yeah i'm just gonna open these guys and show you how it looks so i can see as well but it's kind of like an underwear that I will have to wear after. What is it actually? Okay, so this is actually not what I thought it was gonna be. It's more like, you know, like something that is gonna press my belly back for the shape it's supposed to have. And this as well. So, okay, I get it. It's kind of like I'm gonna have to wear this so we can put my belly back on the place it was supposed to be and this is disposable so just in case I bleed or something comes out so I need to wear this that's good so I don't have to waste my actual underwear so this comes with like four of them so I maybe gonna have to go and get some more but this is good also one thing that I have bought more I have bought more bio oil you already know this i already talk about this all the time but mine was finished and i need one more so i bought this i just have to take some of my toilets essentials and put it together in this bag but for now i bought some lip balm to go in it as well and I think I'll just need the odorant, toothpaste, my toothbrush, all of these kind of things that need to be ready. I feel like I have to get an extra one of everything, just so everything of the toilet essentials can go inside here. Good. And I also have to buy, that I haven't bought still, slippers and, you know, just comfortable clothes that when I have, I just have to pack it. But everything for the toilet is gonna come here, all the deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrush, all of that. 
that is very needed and um, more things I bought okay I just bought something just for me for my face I feel like my face is getting more round I'm having like two cheeks now and stuff like that and I feel like I wanted to put it back on place so it's smoothy and you know poofing or whatever is this like for cleaning I guess for cleaning for cleaning and and you know just do nicely the chain and the hairline and all of that and you do it with the moisturizer so I bought this I will bring it as well just kind of like essentials and I will bring well this is for me actually to just do my manicure at home bought some hand cream kind of like a serum for eye cream and like a vitamin serum for my face as well all of this I still have to open it and just use it I can use it here I can bring it to the hospital it's just essentials to be honest some hand cream hand cream that I was needing and this also I will open it now feels cold I like it this is perfect and um, manicure things but yes now let's go for the things of the baby because I have, need to have a bag for me and I need to have a bag for the baby as well so for the baby I just literally go like three of these one in each color we got this today <laughs> and uh, they were really cute you know newborn new baby and it was only 17 pounds for the three of them so I feel like it's a really good price and this is just for her to have change when she comes from the hospital I have bought a little cute outfit as well we have small clothes like this I got this on Zara last time I went with my friend Bea I got this small that these have to go with the pants so this like how this cute and with the jacket on top as well so just a little outfit and we also bought this one just you know cute little dress that she can use from for when she comes out of the hospital i guess and a couple of towels for the baby as well so just after the first shower these things so she can use it and all of these I have to wash it before um, even bring it to the hospital because well, the, the wife of uh, the cousin of my boyfriend who we met last week she did tell me that it's important that we wash the clothes before even wear the baby or nothing because you know the clothes can have bacteria or come from a place that is dirty or something like that so we never know and it's good to know where the clothes just when we buy it but we need to watch wash it first especially for babies and this is just literally a couple of towels for the baby and that's it for now but i feel like we still have a lot of things that we need to buy and a lot of things that we need to get and this is just the beginning so i'm going to pack my hospital bag now start packing it and when is everything is packed and i already have everything i will do a special video only dedicated to the hospital bag but i feel like it was important to show you what i've been you know doing this time and i already bought the bag like two weeks ago and i'm just starting buying everything i need for the baby so hopefully by next week i will have everything already and just be ready because right now she can come anytime i do be feeling like more movements movements more slow and i notice them more like i do notice them a lot because she has less space to move now so kind of like every time she moves i can feel it and i can see it and everybody can see it as well so it's just kind of funny how she's moving and also i've been feeling a bit of contractions like as she starts to grow and i have less space she has less space to move and i have less space in general um, for my bladder and all of that uh, she's kind of like just down there if you know what I mean like and I can feel it and it feels like contractions like if I was going to have my period but obviously I, 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 I won't so yeah now is the time of the truth and see how much my belly has grown all this time so let's measure 
We're going to start in inches as usually and then I'm gonna go to centimeters. So let me come over here. Don't know if you can see me from there. We start in inches and it's 44 inches. 44 inches. Oh my gosh. Crazy. 44 inches and on centimeters oh shit this is so much it's like that five centimeters more than last time okay so right now my belly is measuring 114 centimeters wow guys that's a lot 113 centimeters exactly so there we go it's 44 inches and 112 centimeters 12 13 13 centimeters there <laughs> that's crazy like it grow like five centimeters as last time i measure and um, it's quite a lot also um let me just show you the marks where i've been bumping like this happened when i bump into the door the other day uh, the belly feels very like you know compressed and uh, yeah I also have some marks over here of bumping into doors and also from when I had the photo shoot a few weeks ago I had like some nails that was really thin and really like Cardi B style and one day having shower with those nails I just kind of scratched my, my belly and it made like a really strange mark as well so yeah, all the marks that I have so far, none of them are stretch marks. They all from bumping into things, literally. And I need to be more careful for real because it can be dangerous. But it's just sometimes I don't have a space. Like I just think at myself with my old body and I forget that I have all of this that I have to carry around. And it's kind of like I'm going bumping here, bumping there. And that made me like, very stressed when it was starting to happen but yeah <laughs> so this was all for today guys thank you for tuning in on my pregnancy update thank you for being here if you have any questions suggestions comments or you'd like to start a conversation with me just comment down below anything will you like i'm so glad i'm happy for you and also for having someone to share all of this experience for all my family that I know they see me from Brazil but they can't understand nothing I would just like to say, tell them like also obrigado and uh, eu te amo e estamos aqui <laughs> e, and uh, for all of you guys that you follow me from Spain as well muchas gracias y muchas gracias por seguirme y obviously I know my audience is mainly English, so I'm doing the videos in English, but I do know that people from Brazil and from Spain also follow me, so thank you so much. And uh, yes, um, thank you for all the felicit fe for all the congratulations and all the stuff because I have been posting some of the pictures like on Facebook and I'm not using Instagram neither because I have to say like this week, last week i also deleted instagram i felt like it was very toxic and kind of like getting in the way of me resting and being more like connected in general with myself and with my purpose so i deleted the instagram from my phone and i've been like a couple of weeks now without instagram i know i need to use it for business purpose but i will get to it like when i'm less you know with less things to think about but yes i do thank you guys all of you and um i'm so glad and happy for you to be here and i see you soon on the next video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet like this video give me a thumbs up i really appreciate it it will help me to grow on youtube and to recommend this video for more people and if you think the information i share if you like it so just share the video with your contacts as well and uh, i will try to go live as much as i can because 
live streams is something that is very requested in my channel and I do like to do it and I always talk about self-development, self-growth, life coaching so I'm going to start doing live streams more frequently and you are welcome to tune in and you know ask, interact and every day we're going to talk about a different theme that has to do with self-development and how to be the best version of yourself so yes i hope to see you there and if not i see you on the next video bye